What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be making this vintage racer tee. So let's hop straight into it. All right. So the first thing I did is I found an image on Pinterest of this uh, Toyota Camry race car. So I just slapped it in Photoshop, uh, grabbed the pen tool, and I'm just going ahead and cutting it out of the image. So then from here, what I do is I go to select, modify, contract by two pixels, and I go ahead and inverse it and get rid of the background. I also go in with the eraser tool, try to clean it up a little bit, just make it look like it's not cut out, if that makes sense. So when I go, I go into Illustrator and I like to do the type in Illustrator just because I get more creative freedom in Illustrator than Photoshop with like the points and all that. So I just choose this font that I like. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier, the racer's name is uh, Denny Hamlin. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue who that is. So we're just going to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? So I right, go in, choose this font that I like. I mess with the uh, tracking a little bit, make it a little wider. And I try to make the N and Hamlin match the H. So I just go in and I play around with the points a little bit. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but I just play around with the points, try to, try to get it right. So what I do is I go in and I what a warp mesh and I kind of try to get at that slant, try to play around with the points again, you know, just try and get that slant look. Now it's not perfect. This is not a client job. I'm just doing this for fun. So I'm not making, so I'm trying to do it really quick and not, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be perfect, is what I'm saying. So then I go in with the pen tool and I try to make these uh like these little uh sharp kind of serifs that these letters have. So I try to recreate that with the pen tool and then I smooth it out just to get it looking good. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then I started off with this orange color because uh, the FedEx car is uh, that purplish kind of color and orange, but I end up changing it to um, this gradient and it's the same gradient effect I use in my Michael Jordan t-shirt video. So if you want, you can go ahead and check that out on my channel. See how I did it. So I just bring that into Photoshop, kind of match it up. I changed the background color just so I could see it a little better. 
then I go in and try to add this motion blur effect on the car. So what I do is I made a duplicate on top and I made a blur, the motion blur effect. And then I kind of turn the opacity down just a little bit and kind of offset it just to make it look like it's in motion. Then I go on with the word Hamlin with the hue and saturation. And I just make it just like a nice, a nice kind of orange color just to match the um the FedEx logo. Then I make a duplicate, send it to the back, I make that duplicate white, and then I add a Gaussian blur just to give it this glow effect. Then I get the word Denny, slap it in uh, Photoshop, make it that purplish color that the FedEx logo is, so we can have some like cohesion in the design. Put a white stroke around it and just kind of, kind of make it just a little, the teensiest bit smaller. Now I try to recreate the 11 on the side of the car. And I'm trying to look for the font that that is, but I just, I don't I can't find it. So I'm just gonna recreate it. And of course, I recreated an Illustrator. So I go in and I choose a cool Vertica font, which is like the most, one of the most simple fonts there is. I go in, I type the number 11. And I from here, I try to play around with the points to try and match the, the look of the other number. This is really simple. I just play around with the points to make it match up. I make it that uh that purple kind of FedEx color with an orange stroke. And then I go ahead and uh, slap that into Photoshop. And then I added that to the design. Now, my first idea for this design was just to have the car. And I added some a background in it, some framing, just to tie the whole design together. But um, it ends up not being the final design, so. So what I do is I go in with this cloud brush and I kinda, kinda erase the edges just to give it this more vintage 90s look to the T and that's what I'm going for with these vintage looking t-shirts so I just do that Now, I kinda, I kinda went uh, <laughs> a little overboard with the uh, eraser tool on this design. Yeah, it looks, that looks horrible. So I just, I just kept going, kinda changed up the design cause I did not like the way that looks. So I kind of tried to play around with some things. I added a gradient map to the uh, to the car, to the race car. But I don't like the way none of those look at all. So I just keep it pushing.
So I went in and just found some images of what I'm assuming to be Denny Hamlin. Like I said before, I don't, I don't know who this is. So I don't even watch NASCAR, so I'm assuming this is him because he has on the same FedEx jumpsuit. So do get on me in the comments, you feel me? So I'm going again using the pen tool just to cut it out. And I just take away the background from this image. that going with a different image, which again, I'm assuming to be Denny Hamlin. And I just go and I swap those two images around to kind of get a good placement. Now I try to find an image of like the trophy that they win, they win a race, and put that in the middle just to kind of bring the design together a little bit more. But I have no clue what <laughs> trophy that they use, you know? So I just found an image of this trophy on Pinterest and I like this one but I saw a different image this one right here that I like the dude the guy holding uh, the trophy up and I already know that's not uh, Danny Hamlin so I just threw it in the designs because I thought it looked cool just you know what I'm saying I'm not selling this t-shirt for right now as I know so it's just a just to make it look cool just a cool design And here I try to add a shadow to the car and the images behind the car, but it ends up looking too dark. So what I do later on, I don't know if I cut it out, but what I'll do later on is I kind of lighten up the opacity on it just to make it look more like a shadow. Then what I do is kind of fix up the image of the trophy, or the guy holding the trophy, my bad. Kind of make the number 11 look a little bigger, stand out. And I make a new document. And I'm trying to make this uh, airbrush kind of look, this airbrush kind of star kind of look. So what I do is I get a polygon tool. Uh, I make a duplicate. I turn the duplicate. I merge it together. I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just kind of blur it up, you know? Just feel it out, and then I'll, uh, 
so I kind of struggle here, but uh, I'll get a white uh, dot and just, just put it in the middle. Just to make it more like light, if that makes sense. So I go slap that on the design, send it to the back. And then I duplicate a dude holding a trophy and I make it give him like a glowing effect just to kind of emphasize like, yeah, this is the prize, this is the trophy. So <laughs> if that makes any sense, I'm just trying to, this is what's going through my mind as I'm designing this, this t-shirt. So. I use the same um, method to bring the design together, just make a background. And I kind of frame it using the um, eraser tool. And I chose this lavender color. So yeah, here I am again, going in with the uh, cloud brush eraser tool. I just kind of erase the kind of the edges just to make it look, like I said, vintage. So I just go and I add a mock-up of a t-shirt to the other um, document that I have. And in a simple routine, I just go and cut out the background just so I can have the, the image of the t-shirt. I go and I select everything. I control C to copy everything. Go to the other document, control V. Unfortunately, the video cut out, but yeah. Thank you all for watching. This is the final design. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace.